The Nashville Pride Festival is less than three weeks away, but organizers aren't just preparing for the big parade or usual entertainment. Yeah, they're preparing for the future. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres tells us about a new vision for the LGBTQ community and its allies. For many people, we find that this is only one day a year that they can truly be themselves. Jamie Combs is looking forward to the Nashville Pride Festival, not just for the fun, but for the purpose. I'm a transgender woman, I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother, and I want to make life better for other people. For more than 25 years, she's been proud to identify as a transgender woman. Life has gotten easier, but she says it could be better. I think Nashville has an opportunity to become very inclusive. She joins other members in a new initiative to figure out where the LGBT community in Nashville is now and where it should be in the future as the city grows. It's called the Nashville Community Visioning Project. This is a good opportunity for us to look towards the next 50 years, the next 10 years, and really get an understanding of what the community needs uh, in order to live that life of, of thrive, of, of full and meaningful happiness. The project is split in different phases over the course of three months seeking input from members through large community conversations, followed by smaller demographic group meetings, and then an online survey. This is, gives them an opportunity to say, this is what I want for the future of the community that I'm, you know, I'm going to call home. They were hungry for a sense of justice. Combs was in the first meeting. Organizers hope the results of the project will become a blueprint, not just for LGBTQ-friendly organizations, but one Metro can learn from. We also want to create a safe uh, city and state for them. The project hopes to at least hear input from about 2,000 people. It should wrap up by the end of August. Reporting in Nashville, Matthew Torres, News Channel 5.